There are quite a few traps uh, in reading the Bible. I'd say one is only reading your favourite bits and not reading the whole of the scriptures. That was a very important thing at the time of the Reformation and, and one of the principles that Cranmer built into the prayer book that the whole of the scriptures had to be read systematically. So that's a very big thing for Anglicans. Um, a second trap, I think, is overlooking the differences, the nuances and the tensions that are in scripture. We need to let each voice in the scriptures speak and they're not always in agreement and that's part of our wrestling with the scriptures to take the whole thing on board with its different voices and work out um, with the scriptures what the truth must be. So that's the second trap and I think uh, a third one is trying to read the Bible from page one to page 1300 like a novel. It doesn't work like that. The, the scriptures are made up of 66 different books with more than 66 different authors writing in different places at different times to address different questions. And you need to let each of those voices speak in its own terms. So it doesn't make sense if you just start at page one and read it right through to the end. You need to take each of the books and allow them their own integrity. The scriptures uh, also tell us paradoxical things that are as true now as they ever were. Uh, Jesus teaches us that if you want to actually find the deepest meaning your life can have, then give your life away. Make your life a gift to other people in loving service. And by giving your life away, you actually find it.